Glamour is going to be Madeline Klein. She is in the nerve unit, also in the neurology department. And uh, Madeline, where's Madeline? Wave. Oh, there she is over here, right? She's out in right field. I didn't see her right away. Okay. She's All right, Madeline. Uh, even wearing her MGH shirt too, as well as her. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Uh, okay, Madeline, are you ready? Gloria, are you ready? Brian, are you ready this time? Okay. All right, Madeline. Have you ever knocked into your funny bone and felt the tingles go all the way down to your fingers? Do you ever stand up too quickly and feel a head rush? Has your foot ever fallen asleep when you sit on it for too long? All of these odd phenomena are mediated by your peripheral nervous system, the network of nerves that controls everything in your body outside of your brain and spinal cord. Small fibers are a type of teeny tiny peripheral nerves found throughout your body. They are just underneath your skin, controlling your hair follicles and sweat glands to deeper in your body, regulating blood flow and controlling digestion. The word neuropathy means damage to the nerves. And since small fibers influence organs all over your body, and your skin is an organ too, when they become damaged, it can lead to a puzzling array of symptoms. You might have red hands or hot feet or pain from something as gentle as a feather brushing your skin. Your toes might tingle or go numb. Maybe it only happens when you stand for too long or it's too hot. Maybe you get dizzy or faint when you exercise. For a long time, SFN was thought to only affect adults, so it hasn't been studied in children very well. We now know that there are many kids with these mysterious symptoms whose underlying cause is related to small fiber neuropathy, but it can take years to find the right diagnosis. We want to fix this, to give doctors the tools they need to recognize and treat pediatric small fiber. Leaving diseases untreated impacts the rest of a child's life, as well as their family, and even the future family they might start someday. The best way to diagnose SFM is by counting the number of those small fibers with a skin biopsy. Neuropathy patients tend to have fewer nerve endings, but it turns out that kids start with a much higher number than adults. So we need to develop new data to compare pediatric skin biopsies to each other rather than to adults. We also want to know why kids are affected so that we can treat the source rather than just manage the symptoms. In children, we've found that SFN tends to be caused by autoimmune disorders and genetic mutations. This highlights the importance of blood tests and genetic sequencing in understanding pediatric diseases. Sometimes, once you figure out what is going on with one child, you realize that the rest of the family is affected too. In one family, after we started studying one child, we discovered that his siblings, his mother, his grandfather, and maybe even his great-grandmother had the disease too. We will use this information to create a disease definition for doctors around the world. In order to do this, we need to know what normal looks like to be able to recognize when something isn't right. Right now, we are recruiting healthy children for several studies at MGH. We have studied over 400 sick kids and only 45 healthy ones. So if you or anyone you know might be interested in participating in our research, please feel free to reach out to me. You can also check out our work and learn more about peripheral neuropathy at www.neuropathycommons.org. Thank you. Yay! Perfect. Thank you, Madeline. That was awesome. I, I It made me make a new sign. I don't know how many people saw it. Dave's, I see awesome, awesome. Go genetics. I'm a geneticist, for those of you who don't know. Go genetics, love it. That was, that was fabulous, Madeline. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you.